Pali FA and National Capital Region FA. comes down to this in the PFF U15 Boys National Championship it's the Negros Occidental FA coming up against the National Capital Region FA my name is Claro Manzano bringing you this match on Facebook live stream and thank you very much for supporting the future of Philippine football these are the stars of tomorrow you can see National Capital Region just getting their first 11 photos taken. Both teams have been on a continued stare throughout this tournament. Picking up, picking up very good results in this one. National Capital Region winning by as many as three goals one of their group stage matches. No fan picking up a whopping 12-2. About this tournament, they are in the semi-finals. NCR defeating Marfa 4-0 behind the brace from Umi Abelarde, Andre Gonzalez, and Dominic Tom also picking up one goal each in that victory of theirs to seal the deal and send them to the final dance. Negros Occidental, on the other hand, picking up a 1-0 lead. 1-0 victory over Davao South. It was Mark Gabriel Cantos who got the winning goal for them. Negros Occidental convinced the dominating possession in that match until they finally found that head in the second minute. So two of the country's regions in the sport of football facing off now. Just what a way to culminate the end of this tournament after all they've been through. National Capital Region have been undefeated, picking up a 6-0-0 record. No losses or draws in the initial group stage. And that would have to be at the regional level. And then they made their way into the national group stage where they went 3-1-0, just one draw. And that draw was against Negros Occidental. So these teams are heading into this match on level footing. Well, let's take a look at Negros Occidental. In the, in the regional group stages, they, were, they went 4-1-3. Four, four victories, one draw, three losses. Still very, still a very convincing campaign. Given the Sayas pretty much gives you the group of death at the, na at the regional level. And they went on to be group mates again with the NCR. Picking up an eight. Identical 3-1-0 record. They're only separated by goal difference. So this will truly be a nail biter in this match. And both teams, in fact, Negros Occidental or Nofa for short. The core of their team is bannered by standouts from rival schools, actually. The University of St. LaSalle and that would have to be Trinity Christian. National Capital Region on the other hand. Bannered mainly by 
by players from the likes of La Salzo Bell and Ateneo as we have the countdown for this match. And away we go here at the PFF National Training Center. So it's, it's the NCR right now. They are in their all red kits. They are playing from left to right. Because on the other hand, they are playing from right to left. They are in their all white kits this time around. NCR with a quick foray, not a trouble at all for the Negros defense and they pick it up and they are carrying on from where they pretty much ended their semi-final match playing it from the back these guys well both teams in fact are very faithful to their system you see them in trying times and they continue to stick to that and that's something you really gotta love as a coach you have to give credit to Nova coach Ronald Reyes and for NCR's Richard Leble So it's now out on the right. Gian Caraig playing at right back. It'll be a 4 1 4 1 formation for NCR. This one's sent to the back post. Still collected by Negros. So this will be a test right now to the defenders of NCR. edge of the area. Ball cleared quickly. And it looks like this is Dominic Tom just slithering his way past his defenders and that's cleared out to safety. So this will be another corner kick. So again in that in their previous semi-final Negros Occidental getting a good number. Negros Occidental only getting a good number of corner kicks. Negros Occidental only getting a good number of corner good number of corner kicks in the second half. This is attempted bicycle kick right there. Not too much power. Ball still being disputed. And you take a look at the physique of both teams. NCR just towering above their opponent so that may be something they could use maybe relying on those high balls Negros Occidental on the other hand again they like to keep the ball on the ground so Selly sent that to the right Teruel setting this forward again Possession to stick with Nofa. Dreyfus. And here comes a cross. Set back. Will this be another set piece? Looks 
looks like this one will be a goal kick to be taken by Alfonso Gonzalez. So going back to the NCRFA, they are bannered by players from the Makati Football Club, but core of, the, core of those players coming from, again, the likes of Lasal Zobel and Ateneo. So ball out in the center of the park. Played out forwards. Down the line by Karaig. Going for Abelarde. Abelarde is really full of confidence in this match after coming up with the brace. So this can be a real an ideal opportunity for Renziar. Six minutes we've played so far, it's been mainly Negros dictating play. Another corner kick by my tally already, that is already two each. Belarde, looping out swinger. And a shot taken, but not of the best touch just right there. Ball headed to the side, but to no avail. Perhaps you could feel some nerves right here. Even if this is the finals, of course. We also have to give credit to the NCRFA getting this far. Despite difficulty, of course, with all their players having school and club commitments, they've managed to juggle that very well. And here they come again. Fine turn. Belarde, opting to cut inside this time. He was mainly going for the right. A switch. Send it out to the left. Played out. Lizares. Intercepted. And there's a whistle there for some tugging. That was by Raj Nosidad. Celis. Stopped again by Karaik. Here comes NCR on another counter. Dominic Dom was about to get dispossessed, but this whistle will go in their favor. So NCRFA getting a good number of set pieces already in this match. Name of the game for them may have is that they have to pounce on these right now. They may Failing to do so could just haunt them in the end game should they have to chase a result. So far, all is still well. They have an opportunity to get into the driver's seat. So, a four band wall right here for Nofa. Lian just getting his wall all set. It looks like Merino was initially lining up for that, but it will be taken by. Looks like it was going to be taken by Nosidad. Merino. That one going way off target, so they will concede possession. with a chance to turn take another roll at the dice if 
take advantage of that. Gonzalez, a standout from De La Salzo Bell. So that ball came off Selly, so this will be another throw in. Taken at the edge. Karai was looking to switch it up. Now in the center for Negros. His Dreyfus will be important for them in the center. Bacolocos failed to chase that down, but NTR giving a throw. Santos there taking a touch. Just delaying the attack for Negros. And that gives Gonzalez some time to organize the NCR defense. Now sent forward, going for Tom to no avail. It looks like that's a back heel right there, but almost connecting. Nocidad just running straight into Celis. Looks like he was hit in the face. Eventually gets up on his own feet. And that's two of the biggest players on the pitch running into each other there. So referee Meliton Pelai just having a quick word with Celis. Cell is not extending any arms or anything, it's just holding his position. But you can see that this one here. And Santos ball sent in under dispute. Now taken again. Here's another chance. Well, coming off the referee, so it looks like we will be resuming with the drop ball. under the game back there of course referee be completely considered as part of the field of play so safety first by ditching ditching is instrumental for them at full back even in their semi-final he'll need to not just carry on his form but to build on it here if they would like to defeat the, the national capital region so the, the Nofa back line has been relatively been doing well they, they too have a great ceiling in getting out those crosses and long balls into the defensive half Bacolocos assessing his options was looking to go for the center as their number 24 Corban Miraflor and Gonzalez a great find there finding his teammate on, on the left and here they come you're going for Nocidad Pressure right there. That was by Matias Lozano. Qu quickly taken as expected by Nofa. Sales again. Options loaded on the left. This ball a bit overcooked. The chance for Gonzalez to reset. Session given up. So going 
for this one here, Dominic Tomba. He is outnumbered. So he, he's still trying to chase this one down. Going up against Teruel. Ball right there, calmly collected. And you see right there, Nosidad is just trying to boss his way in the center of the field and some excessive contact right there. So the ball cleared out just for safety as we had a charging attacker from Negros Occidental. Throw in taken and dealt with. to love here is that with Negros Occidental they're not allowed they're not afraid to play it back and just reset they have that confidence within themselves and with each other trusting that system I also have to give credit to them for their technical prowess it's been many Negros Occidental dictating play NCR Relying on counter attacks, but they've also been as dangerous. Loxin. Finding Lozano. Continuing in the shot. That shot going wide off the far post. So, still no shots on target for both teams. Today at the PFF National Trading Center, relatively cloudy with a breeze again coming from the east. Abelarde putting on some pressure on Celis. Bacalocos playing it back. Celis finding Labayan. Now on the right hand side. They are going for their man up front. Ball overcooked again. They were going for Dreyfus in that last one. So Gonzalez will be taking this from the center. Gonzalez is taking that, taking his goal kicks from there. He has that capability of sending it at a decent distance to the half line. But unfortunately, they gave this up. Lozano. And Lizaris clearance. Well, Lizaris' clearance came off a Negro's defender. Now played back to Villian. And he has pressure on him. It's tough to have a guy like Nosidad just charging at you like that at full speed. Bajo Locos. Cantos. Buffalo is getting clipped. So they get to maintain possession. So they get this free kick in their attacking half. So 
Dreyfus will be giving this delivery. Here comes the service. The header. That one not going to the goal mouth at all. The diagonal ball sent out by Lizares. Teruel headed out. Cantos used to be swarmed right there. The shot taking distance going way off target. That was by Frank Labayan. Bayern is that holding midfield of theirs again in that 4-3-3 formation. It'll be important for him to dictate play in this match. In terms of knocking in those combinations, it's been, it's been so far so good for Negros. Maybe perhaps some creativity in the final third could spell the difference for them. As of late, it's been mainly NCR. Playing behind the ball. Ball coming off the head of Paco Locos. Gonzalez easily getting that. Organizing his team as he volleys this one forward. So those second balls in the midfield. It's just Negros on Occidental all over the place. So now it's up to them in converting their possession into goals. Belarde losing possession. Here comes Negros again. Belarde played back. I played to no man's land there by Karaig. Well, no, see that Abelarde, the one to one. No, see that again. He's, he's been having that box to box effort in this match. That ball of Lozano. Unsuccessful ball by Lozano, but they have a chance again. Belardi was looking to go for that ball, but it was read well. But Celis is losing the handle on that. Karai sending that down the line to cover a good amount of distance. So we are in the 24th minute of this match. It's Clara Manzano on call for the finals of the PFF U15 Boys National Championship. Coming to you from Carmona, Cavite. It's Negros Occidental FA Arnofa going up against National Capital Region FA. And here's a chance right here, but Miraflor unable to meet that ball. We have a man down for NCR. Dreyfus running into one of. Oh, we have a player from NCR rather running into Dreyfus. So a chance right now for NCR to put to swing things back in their favor. Here comes the delivery. Anticipated well by Negros. So 
played back to Gonzalez. Negros applying some pressure. As a result, possessions in dispute in the defensive half of NCR. You'd be happy about that if you were Negros. Looks like we have a whistle. It's offside. Called, called against Nofa. So again, you're catching this game on live stream for the BFF U15 Boys National Championship. chance for you to take a look at the future Josh Tutosimuses and Tristan Kit Robleses for NOFA. Successful players of course who have been able to play in the professional level here in the Philippines. This possession right now has been swinging back and forth. If you are NCR of course Chance for you to take a look at the future Patrick Datos, Harvey Gallosos, Miko Mabanag, Dave Basas. These players, of course, got a chance to play at least in the collegiate level. You have guys like Patrick Dato. They've been able to play professional football overseas. So we are having a cooling break right now. So we are approaching the 27th minute of this match. This game, it's it's been Nofa controlling the tempo of this game. NCR managing to get possession forward, but haven't really been able to to keep to keep possession. It's it's been a challenge for NCR going up against the likes of Abella and Teruel, who have been, who are the anchors of the Nofa defense at center back again in the 4-3-3 formation. Again, it's a 4-3-3 formation for Nofa. That's allowed him to get the ball forward quickly. If you're NCR, you're in a 4-1-4-1. 4-1-4-1, of course. You can settle down defensively or dictate the midfield. So it's a formation that can be utilized in both ways, of course. Given this cooling break that we are coming off, it's important to rehydrate, especially we are coming into the summer. That well, should be play finding us right back again in ditching. Cantos playing that back. Well, Cantos is in fact their striker, but also drops back to help out in mid midfield. But I beg your pardon, it looks like Ditching have Ditching and Celis have switched it up to full backs. Celis now at the right. Ditching now on the left. <laughs> NCR sending this. Bajo Locos. Dreyfus. Running into traffic, slithering his way through, finding Pacolocos again. But poked away. And here comes NCR on the counter behind their captain, Dominic Tan. He finds his teammate on the left. It's Lozano. Looking his way into the goalkeeper box. Abelar there, a shot from distance, but failing to control that. That ball coming off, coming off a defender. That was sent in by Lizares. Lovely combination right there. What's it that? Luzano losing that battle. Managed to get that back. 
can see are getting a relatively decent decent spell of possession. Loxin's forward ball was stopped mid of floor. So that was number five. As that was Joshua Merino who was floored. So as of late, NCR have managed to step things up. Perhaps they could have used that cooling break too to their advantage, tweak their tweak out their tactics. This ball meeting the back line. Little by Teruel. Is that sent forward to steam it up front? Velarde unable to get a grip on that. And they go for Paco Locos on the left. Lofa moving up in unison. Looking to break down the defense. They switch it up on the right. Fantastic idea. And here's a shot. Successful, but they managed to win the corner kick. So this will be another corner kick, corner kick, but it's NCR who have a slim advantage in terms of ceiling. Going for the back post, sent into the towards the mouth of the goal, but cleared out. They switch it up. It's been, it's been great ice, great vision so far from Nofa. In Ditching, storming forward. Cantos. Mira Flor. The Bayern. Back to Teruel. Teruel with that forward ball. No Cidad. Dreyfus. Teruel taking another crack forward. It's still a promising spell of possession here from Nofa. If they are able to keep this up, they will continuously wear down the defense of their opponents. That, that could just give them an ideal opportunity to find the back of the net. If you are Nofa, they were chasing that result and looking to get something in full time and their semi-final you'd have to be happy with your ability to run those to, to run set pieces or combinations and see on the other hand they're just blaring on all guns picking up a four win four nil victory again Abelarde no sit that. Played out forward by Karaig. So I know NCR attacker getting close to that, but sent close to the half line by Teruel. So Karaig put the things back into play. Accepted by Craig with a man on him. That looks like an adva advantage just played out there, so that's a whistle from 
Militant Pelayo again. Santos sending this one in. That great hands by the keeper by Carl Villan. And Miraflor just storming down on the right on the counter. Good to play that ball forward. And it's just sent out by the back line of NCR. Given the technical prowess of Nofa. They managed to get the ball quickly up the pitch. It can be very dangerous. Not just building up from the back, but also in the counter, of course. It makes them a tough team to scout. So it's about nine minutes away from added time in this first half. A relatively even match from how things have been developing. It was mainly Negros Occidental in the driver's seat early on in the first half, but lately it has been NCR Nosidad. A combination right there, but that ball coming off Lozano. Some promising play right there also from the National Capital Region. Because that saw that they had, they had a good amount of numbers forward and playing the ball around. NCR giving us back to Negros Occidental. Of course, you wouldn't like to just knock the ball into no man's land and give it to Nofas again. That is what they like to do. They like to build up from their back line. Karai. And to their number 23 in more in Mori. Abelarde. He was on the right early on. They switched it up and he's on the left now. The ball forward. They were going for Lozano and Nocidad. Tan. Now it's on the wing. Pitching, looking to get things out. So the end, National Capital Region. Picking up a corner. This time it will be taken on the left. been a handful of set pieces not just for NCR but also for Nova but they haven't been able to convert so let's see how this play will develop this could just prove the difference here comes the ball in the center looks like that came off an NCR player to no avail. Let's see that applying some pressure. Calmly dealt with again by Negros. that one back. Cantos, the Bayern, with a man on him. So managed to get it forward. So you can just hear the intensity of the crowd as they are getting into this game, particularly from the traveling supporters from Nofa, who traveled all the way from Negros. Lozano, 
Cut through the center with dispossessed. Great effort there by Lozano, but fortunately for him, getting dispossessed. Hats off also there once again to the Nova backline. Here they come again, bring possession slowly but surely. That ball for Miraflor. It's denied by NCR. Abelarde. Attention to the driver and the owner of 87 Piano with a lead. Not but no NCR player on the right wing. Pressure being applied this time around by NCR. <laughs> They're settling into that midfield block and they up to do so now with that selective press. Nosidad again. Nosidad could, pop, could be an early candidate for man of the match. Nosidad gets been all over the place. He brings in not just size but speed. Positioning, of course, by Celis. They win possession back. And what a chess match this has been so far tactically. And see how coaches will be able to make adjustments. Abelarde, play that to the right. Surveying his options. Again, they like to get their numbers for work forward and move together as a unit. Gatos. Unsuccessful ball by Belabayan, but it goes back to them. Celis. Bacolocos again. Great find to Cantos. Clever move it by Bacolocos. Cantos is getting past. Swarmed by two defenders. Celis with the lob into the box. Gonzalez was charging for that, but his center back managing to get that. Across again in the edge of the area. Half cleared. We'll get this one. It's given to Dominic Tom, but his first touch letting him down right there. Also must have been tough for the captain. It was one on three. This is clear and setting close to the commentary box. Celis. Now they switch it up. Going for Teruel once again. They like to go. They like to go with him when they set up from the back. It's been mainly no for going for the left. And here comes the ball in the area. Great positioning by Gonzalez. He didn't have to charge up that one, but was displeased with his back line. He is urging them to to move up forward so he could just come up with a fine distribution for them. And so far, here's another chance. Going for Nosidad. He gets this one. What a gutsy charge right there by Justin Carvillian. And at the rate things are going, things will be nailed into the locker room. And we have two minutes of added time here. Ladies and gentlemen, there will be two minutes of added time in the first half. So that's confirmation right there from the venue announcer. <laughs> so 
was some steady goalkeeping so far, intercepting balls into their area, but so far they haven't had to really come up with saves. You see the frustration there. Oh, Gonzalez in his body language as his back line gave up a foul. And this is, we are in the closing stages of the first half and you would love to at least preserve this scoreline given it is still nil-nil. The last thing you want to do heading into the dugout of course is to let in a goal. But let's flip things over. If you're Nova of course you would like to pick, the, pick up that lead. Line for treatment by his team PT or his team physician. But from the looks of it, it looks like he will be able to continue. But Nofa, they will be playing with a man down in the closing stages of this first half. As this this set piece right here, maybe maybe one of the one of the final kicks again, in the first 45 minutes. So we will be having a four-man wall. Or it looks like if the cell is will have to deal with that. That is managed to set up his his defense even if he had a decent amount of stoppage. Now will that stoppage ice in any of these two teams? So set is to be tasked with coming up with this delivery. Here he comes, going for goal. Great positioning by Gonzalez once again. And that is the final kick of the first half. It's still nil-nil right here. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for coming here at the PFF National Training Center for the final 2019 PFF Under-15 Boys National Championship. That does it for first half action in the PFF U15 Boys National Championship. It's nil nil again between Negros Occidental FA and the National Capital Region. Both teams getting a fairly, fairly decent amount of possession. Well, let's see how things will develop in the second half, and we'll be right back after the break. Sabay mo kasi.
Substitution for Negros Occidental FA. Number two, Dave Aikinsel is replaced by number 46. Correction, number nine, Christopher Jason Valente. Substitution for National Capital Region FA. Number 23, Isidaro Mori is replaced by number 38, Antonio Colorado Clement. Second half action is off in the finals of the PFF U15 Boys National Championship. Negros Occidental FA, otherwise known as NOFA. Again, in their all, all white kits, resuming things right now. They are playing from left to right. National Capital Region FA, on the other hand, they are in their blue and red kits. They are playing from right to left. Nasidad, lovely footwork there. Nofa momentarily winning that dispute for the ball, but that was poked away by Nasidad. Stitching will get things going. Velarde sending this back. Teruel sending it forward. Okay, Lep Santos sending that to the right. Gian Karaig was dispossessed momentarily, so their attack will be delayed. Still on the right wing for NCR. Opting to go for that option. But well, they failed to keep it in play. So things to go back to Nova. An individual display right there. As they managed to send up the ball in an effective manner. Cantos. Abelarde played back. Great effort by Abelarde, tracking back to support the defense. There well. Perhaps again some creativity could help out Nova in the final third. NCR on the other hand, how managed to display that in the attacking third? What have well it looks like they will need to pick up things in the midfield if the NCR, NCR FA like to get that get that goal still much up for grabs right now here let's see that threading this forward Cantos will he be able to meet this one or will this be take, taken Again, a shot from distance. It's been steady goalkeeping so far from Alfonso Gonzalez. Ditching managing to get this. He has two men on him. Plays this forward, but collected.
backtracking. Speaking of the first half, yet Negros Occidental just had the slightest advantage. Both teams have had have shown promise. But just the fact that Nofo is able to get a slim advantage of midfield, you could say that they are the slightly favored team, but much can still change here. Played out in the left, but Dominic Tom assessing his options. And it's played out to the right to Umi Apelardi, but this ball is overcooked. But you have to love the intent there and being able to find your own rushing teammate on the wing. And the, that was a good eye by Antonio Clement, who was inserted into this game. Just, just before the second half car carried on. Villian. Once more, Nova looking to go up the left. Intercepted by Mati Lozano. Abelarde. Nocidad. Switching it up to the left. Luxin. Luxin drawing that foul, so they will have this set piece. So, again, this is the finals. It will be a winner take all matches always. So, should we f still remain level after 90 minutes of action, we will head into extra time wherein we will have two 15 minute halves should we fail still have a winner after extra 30 minutes of action we will have the penalty shootouts of course and the looks like we had a header on that ball but that was on target but again Villian getting it he was up to that save great distribution also we've seen, we've had a fine display also from our goalkeepers they've been steady in terms of shot stopping and I've impressed also in terms of distribution. Ditching. Get a floor. Dreyfus ditching again. Having to play this back. So again, then. Again, given this is the youth level, each team has seven substitutions to utilize. Should we proceed to extra time, each coach will have another substitute to utilize. Again, you see that midfield block right here by the NCRFA. Teruel opting to go forward again in Miraflor. Miraflor managing to bother the back line. So they get to the throw in on the right. Labayan. Teruel. Here, having to play behind the ball. Both teams with a great amount of supporters in today's matches. 12th man, of course, could come a long way in a match. Especially that this is all for the trophy. Now one of the best touches right there by Clement. He gives up possession, but they manage to recover. Looks in. Getting past his defender, storming up the left wing. It takes a fall, but no call by the referee. And that long ball, but to no avail despite three men up front for Nofa. Gonzalez looks like he will be sending this long. 
da cidade. Caleb Santos office line as he charged forward. Hoping to pull the regain possession. And here again we'll have to clear this with the way things are going. You would have to be happy if you are Nofa. If you are NCR, perhaps some adjustments will have to be made. Dreyfus, Dicic. A forward ball to Liguaton. Liguaton again. Some promising play here as they manage to move forward in numbers. NCR managing to settle. They've handled things. They've handled things well so far. But of course, if you're have, if you're playing behind the ball, things could really drain you in terms of stamina. That may lead to a slip up. Iguaton. Two players getting to a fall and appear to be hurt. That is Liguaton for Nofa, but still need confirmation who the, the NCR FA player is. NCR FA, of course, being bannered by Makati Football Club. Looks like we may see some bookings also in this match. So yellow shown here. Yellow card shown there. Looks like no that is that player who was down. He received the yellow. The other card may have been on the Guaton, if I am correct. <laughs> Looks like we have another substitution being lined up already for Nova. Banoa is poised to check in for this match. Banwa listed as a forward here for Nova. And player assumes we are already in the 57th minute of this match. Still scoreless, much to play for. Mainly Nova, mainly Nova in the driver's seat. We saw some promising play also from NCR. It will be a game of consistency right here between the two teams. Both teams, of course, having to work their way all the way out of the regional and national group stages. They've managed to face off already. They battled to a thrilling three-all draw. It just shows how both teams are evenly matched heading into this championship showdown. Tom. And here's another chance, and that was taken by Lozano and denied. Lovely play from NCR, but even better defense from Nova. NCR get driven, being driven by its supporters as Kumi Abelarde will be sending in this. Kumi Abelarde will be sending in this delivery. Coming on for number 19 in John Lloyd Liguaton. Substitution for Deco Occidental FA. Number 19, John Lloyd Liguaton is replaced by number 16, Thierry Ovagbanwa. So both teams here with bodies in the box. And they are running in set piece. Delivery into the center of the area. The shot taken. Blocked well by the back line. Abelarde. No see that dispossessed. And a great amount of space on the counter, but Nofa managing to keep possession. Did 
just storming forward right now. He just gets past one but does not able to make that two defenders. You see that dispossessed but great job hustling back to get that stop. Dreyfus, this time they will be going on the left. No, if I've been able to really switch things up, going the left, right. Perhaps the creativity in the center could help with the early cross. Out at the bottom corner. Again, dealt with well by Gonzalez. He's been tested a quite number of times, but he's been very steady. He will be a tough nut to crack in this game. here of course for these players to get spotted by scouts of clubs and various academic institutions here in the Philippines. So clearance collected. Admira Flor dispossessing Merino. It looks like that was well timed. All ball says the referee. <laughs> The pace starting to pick up in the midfield. Cantos. Poked away, but it goes back to them. Dreyfus going for the left. That hitting the back. Off the charging Magbanwa, the substitute. And this ball love for Magbanwa. Collected by Merino. This ball coming out of this. this will be a throw in. Headed out to safety. Terwell, great job in finding the space. He's had a number of long balls that haven't been able to connect. But what's been great so far, Terwell has been very steady on defense for them. Job done. It's been posing a real threat to the offense. Vegas Occidental Football Association. This could be a test to the stamina, of course, of NCR, but so far so good for them. Coaches have a bit of leeway again, given they have seven substitute seats in 90, each in the 90 minutes. Abelarde in the center. He's been mainly playing on the left and right wing so far in this match. Played forward, but slight miscommunication right there. That ball was played forward earlier by Clement. No, see that again. It's like he's show, showing no signs of slowing down at all. He's been playing box to box in this match. So this will stick to NCR. Zares down the line. Both the wave again by the ever intimidating Teruel. Poked out again. NCR have been going through the left, perhaps if they manage to get things to the center or the right, they may be able to find the space should they be able to exploit Nofa's defense. 
there well, managing to deny Clements and allowing that ball to bounce off for a corner that Bill Yan just sent out now again. You see the speed that Nova has been able to bring the ball up despite playing every playing playing most playing short most of the time. And the early cross. Cantos. Cantos proved to be a hero again, but here comes a shot. Another problem again for Gonzalez. Nova managing to get a good number of shots on target already. But Gonzalez has done well to deny them. Of course, if you're NCR, you'd love to stay in control of the pace, but for the 20 minutes we have had so far in this second half, and it's been mostly the team from Visayas. Miraflor running down the right. Miraflor there getting past Lizares. Will he make the stick and cross? Will he cut back now given his angle? It's played there, but his teammate right there, Matt, is missing that one. Magbanwa getting close. Looks like the ball is played here. We have a player down on the right. Having a quick break here. Coaches and players will get to regroup for a moment. So we have a player from NCR who is getting attention right now. He's being carried off the pitch. Looks like he's suffering from cramps. That may be Basti Lizares. NCR right now, they will be playing a man down. We saw Nofa play a man down also in the dying stages of the first half. But fortunately for Nofa, they were they had that they were in the, they were in the attack at that time. to come in for NCR right now. He will be replacing who may be Basti Lizares who is out. Receiving medical attention. As player assumes right here. Teaching. Asking for players to come forward. Played back. Yep. Nova, patient as ever. That well, that diagonal ball almost connecting. Tom. Now NCR just covering a great amount of distance on the right. Now it's in the center. Dominic Tom again. Now out to Umi Abelarde. He gets tripped, but no call by the referee. Abelarde getting tripped, but great sportsmanship there shown between the two sides. Dreyfus had an option on the right, but it's kept in, kept in momentarily by Clement. Did you fail to get that, but kept in by Cantos. Great positioning for the denial. Merino sending at the no man's land after coming up with a great stop. Ditching again. Headed out well. Both teams, of course, have been as solid as ever. But only one will prevail here in this one. Cantos. Again, it's a battle between two powerhouses. Cantos again, slithering pass. Will they get a goal? But another great stop by Gonzalez. 
He may be a prime candidate for man of the match in this one. The question mark here is, what else will, what else will Nova have to do to get past Alfonso Gonzalez? They've been able to get the pass at the back line, but not their, but not the ever reliable Gonzalez. Clear it out again. A shot from distance, not a, not a problem at all. Substitution for National Capital Region FA, number 13. Sebastian Marora Lizares is replaced by number 15, Prince Arthur Reyes. So there you have it. Sebastian Lizares officially coming in and having. Well, Sebastian Lizares officially being replaced, rather. Prince Arthur Reyes coming on, so Lizares is unable to continue from what appears to be cramps. NCR still managing to stay calm earlier despite being down to 10 men, but they are now back to full strength. Dreyfus. Teruel. This time they up to go for the left. Looking to switch things up. Ditching. Abelarde. Numbers not on their side, but they get they managed to advance. It was three on five on that one. Nofa managing to delay the NCR attack. here getting cracked you have to applaud the back lines of both teams at half clear it's picked up by Cantos playing this one forward ball momentarily momentarily in the area Cantos picking this one up finding his team at the left and cleared out Some legal contact there Dominic Tom getting this possessed. But ball in the, ball in the area. NCR defenders are getting pushed back. Just having to clear that one again. of this match once again my name is Clara Manzano bringing you the finals of the Philippine Football Federation U15 Boys National Championship only one again will prevail here despite both teams showing spectacular efforts they've been steady as ever on defense but it's been mainly Nofa as of late. The Negrenses managed to get a number of shots on Tark, but haven't really been able to really get Gonzalez to come up with some challenging saves. Gonzalez, on the other hand, has been very stable for NCR. He was also in the lineup of De La Salle Zobel in the UAP Boys Football. 
and is great at getting young players with a decent amount of exposure for the stars of as these are the stars of tomorrow again. No see that. No see that not showing any signs of all oh, slowing down. The same can be said to the entire unit also of Nofa been playing as a unit in his entire match as patient as ever not getting rattled they're well going for the left ball sent forward will Tom get this one and yes he does and their number 15 managing to move forward it's Prince Arthur Reyes again who came up came off the bench in this one Leg, so he may he will give them more attacking opportunities up front on the overlap. It will be important for him and and Lance Lawrence locks in and moving forward on the left wing. Fjornov on the other hand. Cantos will be instrumental and uh, along with the likes of Liguaton and Dreyfus in the midfield. And here they are again. Reyes. But it looks like we have a man down in Magbanwa. Getting to some contact with Reyes. Well, they were under dispute for possession. But no ill intentions again. Both players going for the ball. So this will be a free kick for the Negrenses. How will they get to utilize this one? Again, will they pull this rabbit out of the hat? As time continues to tick, we are only 14 minutes away from added time already in, in our second half action. It's been mostly Negro so far in this match, but that's NCR have been steady as ever on defense. <coughs> so the set piece, everything set up, but this was played short, catching everyone off guard. I headed back, but pressure from Abelarde, very well. The buy in there too. What's it that? Will he manage to, sh to shield things? Reyes getting out of the danger area. Ditching's ball going to Abelarde. That ball no avail. Abelarde not happy with that personal effort of his. Magbanwa. Cantos. Unable to slither through. Uh, cleared by Nosidad. So the clock continues to tick once more. Abela. Abela now looking to send this forward. That ball sent to no man's land. And that was by Loxin. Magbanwa. Looks like Magbanwa's not rattled at all by that. Fr from, his, from his leg earlier, that was hit. Cantos letting that one go. Looks like he was offside, but Bako Locos getting close again. That one a shot. That one sailing just over the bar. Izzy Gonzalez furious at his back line for allowing them to get a shot off like that. Lucky break for NCR that that was off target. So a 
chance for NCR to neutralize things. Now headed forward. A close one here. Kanto's close to getting that one. Play quickly again. No, I've just, just been able to get all those all those forward balls. Bella to Teruel. Ditching. Ditching was asking for options for, but having to put it back with the center. The central defender, Miraflor. Looks like that came off Reyes. Nova saying it's a handball, and that's indeed the call they get. Free kick taken quickly. Another ball to the area. Gonzalez with the save at the far post. The conditions are starting to get trickier also with the wind picking up. What a great read right there. And here comes another ball. No fab. Taking another crack. Cantos! And will this be it? And no! Looks like there's a foul right there. On Banwa. Looks like he's receiving a warning from the referee after getting to contact with his opposing player. With an opposed. With his counterpart, rather. to resort to long balls also which is slightly uncharacteristic of them they really like to keep it on the ground but this NCR the NCR defense of course has been very compact and difficult to crack no for the other hand have been very calmly collected by Milian the less of the busier keepers but again going back Nofa have managed to press very well in regaining possession in the midfield they made life difficult for the national capital region here you come again on the left and cleared it cleared almost sent out of the park by Caleb Santos Elenios continue to play behind the ball. Early cross. Looks like Lozano was hit down low there. And that was a gutsy stop right there, but he <laughs> medical attention needed immediately. So a quick breather for the players unofficially. Heading into the final stretch of oh, full time right here. Again, should we remain level after 90 minutes, we will proceed to extra time in this match. Melito signal to players to make their way back to the pitch. And hats off there. 
Hats off there, fair play to National Capital Region for returning possession. To Negros Occidental. Substitution for National Capital Region of Bay. Number 11, Matthias Xavier Lozano is replaced by number 16, Andre Paulo Gonzalez. So Matty Lozano unable to continue on the early cross here, headed out. NTR continuing to absorb the pressure, but for how much longer? And the shot, and what a save right there! Gonzalez once again saving the day. Negros continuing on the attack. Uh, chance again, but this time around on the left boats, it is wide. What a finish we are up for here. Shot after shot, Alfonso Gonzalez managing to de deny the Visaya side. And five minutes remain here before we, we are set to have at a time in this match. Nosidad looks like he has been deployed up front. Ball forward, read well by Reyes, Abelarde. Dreyfus, Ditching, looking to switch it up. Read well by the substitute who just came on for Lozano. And that is their number six. I beg your pardon, rather, look, the one who came on us, Andre Gonzalez, number 16, but. Abelardo is suffering from cramps. You can just see how players are just giving their all on the pitch right now. Credit to them for that. And in the midst of everything, they have continued to demonstrate fair play. And both sides also have, have also been able to display great sportsmanship in the final. In the final, you normally see tempers flare up, but has not been the case so far. No ciudad. Gonzalez. Poked away right now. Given that this is still level, of course, teams being relatively or relatively safe. They're not throwing all of their numbers forward. They wouldn't like to get exploited at the back on the counter. Of course, things will get even more tense should we head into the latter stages of this game. Even more if it's a penalty shootout. It will be a lottery should we extend all the way to that point of this match. So throw in denied. NCR in control. Belarde with the space. Great control. Looking to go back. No that with space with the shot, but that ball deflected and collected by Bilian. And here they are, great quick distribution, but poked away by Gonzalez. Gonzalez apologizing for that loose pass. It's some holding right there, but I just thought he'd get he was close to getting away with that one. A great eyes by the referee. Well, will look to come up with this service. Played short once again. 
ditching this time with the diagonal ball in the area. And here again managing to swarm the, the, the Nofa attackers. Ditching again. Did a great job from him supporting the attack but tracking back to help the defense on, at, at the back in particular. This will be a corner kick right now. So all but one. Well, all ten field, ten outfield players, but one are out. Ladies and gentlemen, there will be five minutes of added time. So a good amount of added time here for both teams to spring off a surprise. It'll be five minutes, as confirmed by the fourth official, Jan Nitan. Could this corner kick prove to be the difference? This one sent to the far post, headed out again. Andre Gonzalez with a great amount of space, ditching, just storming back. That will be a call against Andre Gonzalez. This time around, Nofa unable to play that quickly. Ditching now also getting cramps. Again, for his box to box efforts on the right as a fullback. He's been instrumental in their, in their semi final, of course, but it will be a test of depth right now for both squads and not just for the Negros Occidental Football Association. Another roll of the dice here. Teruel rather than playing short. That service into the area. Second ball. Nofa looking to reset. Dreyfus, space on the right. Will they exploit this? Reyes having to go safety first. What a substitution here. It is the number 69. Jefferson Talimau. He will be replacing number 24, Corban Miraflor. Number 24, Corban Miraflor is replaced by number 69, Jefferson Tolimau. So will Tolimau prove to be a difference for Nofa? Nofa continuously in the driver's seat. That looping ball under dispute. Gonzalez getting close to. But a chance here. Tolimao. Tolimao just shut down and played back. Will there be an early cross? But a clearance here. Nozida just storming forward right now. That ball rolling out for a throw in. Completely out of reach of Villian. Teruel and Abela. So medical attention now for a Nova player. Looks like that's from the contact earlier as players were slugging it out for possession. And still what a finish we're up for here. Ready in the closing stages and at the way things are going. Looks like we are set for extra time in this match. Again, what a show put up here by the stars of tomorrow. And Nova will be playing with a man down. It will be 11 on 10. As a result, this NCR looking come up with that high pressure. And Nofa so far have been dealing with things very well, but that was a foul throw as whistled by the referee. You see the sense of urgency. 
with NCR goalkeeper moving forward and what a throw there covered and cleared out but not quite but a save at the top corner that looping header by Villian tremendous display by our two goalkeepers Reyes legal contact there Clement but sent back to the Negrenses about 15 minutes away 15 minutes away from the fifth minute of added time well, looks like we have a field player down right now great sportsmanship I know Fateruel helping out his opposing his opposing player with his craps and with the way things are going, looks like we will be having a stretcher for this one. But from the way it seems, NCRFK, NCRFA, we still have some available substitutions in this match. If I am correct, let's see how Richard Leble will take a roll of the dice here. Players have been throwing everything, even the kitchen sink. In the case of Nofa, but we are still all level here and we will be having a substitution for the Manilenios. CRFA will be playing a man down momentarily until their substitute, substitute comes in. But we are already past the fifth minute of added time, so this may be the last kick before we proceed to extra time. So Rodrigo Marinas, the third, will be coming on here. Substitution for National Capital Region FA. Number 22, Raj Ivan Nocidad is replaced by number 27, Rodrigo Farinas III. So Ivan Nocidad will be stepping off. It'll be a shame that he will be unable to finish this match as what an all-around effort he has displayed. And there you have it. We are Ladies still goalless. The score at the PFF National Training Center is not Negros Occidental nil, National Capital Region nil. After 90 minutes of playing time, therefore, an interval of 5 minutes, extra time consisting of 2 periods of 15 minutes each will be played. If the match is still tied after this extra time, penalty kicks will be taken to break the tie and determine the winner. There you have it. It's still nil-nil after 90 minutes of action. We will proceed to extra time. What a display here from the Negrenses and the Manilenios. And unfortunately, they can only be one. So we'll be right back and just stay tuned again for VFF U15 Boys National Championship action.
are off for first half action in extra time already to determine the inaugural winner of the PFF U15 Boys National Championship again. This is Clara Manzano on call for this match. It's the NCRFA. They are once again playing left to right. Negros playing from Negros Occidental. From right to left. And the Grenz is mainly in control here, but the NCR has refused to wilt. And what a match it has been. This will be a test right here. But on the depth of the respective teams as we are heading into the deep stages of this final as we have another man down with cramps. These players to their limits already as leaving it all out on the field as we will be having a stretcher for this man who is down. Nonetheless, again, our two coaches, Ronald Dreyas for NOFA and Richard Leible for NCRFA, have an extra substitution at their disposal, given that we are already in extra time. And here comes a long throw. Great power there. Love ball in the air. You headed out. Who will secure this and play back, but poked away. Nova just storming down, but intercepted. And Richard Label is furious at that one there. As a lucky break. As they managed to deny that in the midfield. And a long throw in again by Karaig. And, great. and what a weapon that is there from Karaig. Clement has played back, looking to loosen up the defense. Ball sent to the back line, of pressure being applied. Oh. That scramble caused much tension in the bleachers. It looks like that was a handball right there, according to the referee. Things are continuing to pick up right here from where we where and where we stopped earlier. So this will be from the midfield. Expect, expect a delivery here. Find a teammate perhaps for a header. To the relief there, of course, of the Negrenses. Dreyfus is back after receiving treatment for his cramps. Let's see if he will be able to go all the way to the finish. That ball coming off the three-man wall of Negros. And here they come off the counter. Dreyfus, that ball going, going to Karaig. So it's back to the Manilenios. Aguilar, what a find. A square pass, a shot. But what a block right there. Heroic stuff from Ditching. What a reversal here, just guns blazing for NCR. Heading out of that huddle into the first half of extra time. Sent forward, you see Nova with a selective press once again. That ball going to Abelarde, finding Andre Gonzalez. And what a ball over the defenders. And will this be it or will Nofa hang on? And a shot. And they find the back of the net. It's 1 0 for the NCRFA. And will that prove to be the difference? 
And that is in the 95th minute. Goal for the National Cup of the Region. And that is Dominic Tom there with, acna with ecstatic acknowledgement there from the venue announcer hyping up the fans into a frenzy but it's 1-0 again what an effort Dominic Tom the captain leading by example and we are off right now here just five minutes or so into extra time they already find that goal will that prove to be enough Can we say it's desperation time for no fast? They still have about they still have about 25 minutes of action. They would love to at least send this to penalties. If you're NCR, you'd like to hold on to the lead or even pad, pad your goal, pad up with another goal. NCR also there is run of theirs. Has been undefeated so far. No team has defeated them in their campaign within 90 minutes of action. Teaching will be coming up with this delivery here. And you have the whistle, and here comes the service. That ball just sailing over the bar. Had I been on target, things may have been, or could have possibly been different. Gonzalez is taking his time, setting things up here. Things definitely on their side, given the scoreline. NCRFA set to use another substitution. Xiev Lorenzo is Rostrato set to check in. He's listed as a defender. Here comes his delivery. Well, and here they come going for Cantos. And Nofa may need his heroics again in this match. Okay, Cantos came up with that 70th minute goal in the semi final again, wherein Negros just edged Davao South 1 to 0. have taken a toll on the players with our substitution of Rostrata set to check in again substitution for national capital region FA Numbers forward, only one man at the back for the defense of Nofa. This ball taking a bounce, almost going over Gonzalez. Getting some contact with Cantos. And well read there, despite being a bit out of position. Alfonso Gonzalez unable to con connect with Andre Gonzalez right there. Would have given Andre Gonzalez the space to slither down the right wing and possibly come up with a dagger, but that's not the case here. And here we come again. NTR settling once again with their defense. That 4-1, 4-1 of theirs has been a tough nut to crack. Great run here by Gonzalez with a great fake and threading that two, through two defenders. Just clear for safety first, this may even be on target. Villian getting the stop. Teruel looking to switch it up. Abella. Valense. NCR has been content with absorbing pressure in the midfield. Andre 
Jose Gonzalez telling his teammates to let that roll out. And Joshua Anthony will be coming on. Coming off will be Ronan Treyas. No fuck. Keenan keeping possession. Did well having to give that up. Going over Reyes. And they have to give up a corner as a result. Again, Nofa throwing all field players into the area, keeping one defender back just to give them the offside in case for a for a cushion. Should things continue? But here comes an outswinger first, headed out by Andre Gonzalez. And storming forward now comes the NCR with two men on, and they have space. Gonzalez is onside right here, but just poked away. Clever ball by Teruel into this space here. This is for, for Yi. Yi coming on. Will he be that impact substitute of theirs? So get them out of this hole. Ditching. Tom. With Tom. I'm running into the defense. Clever run here. Abelarde. Had a slide there, but had Tom carry on his run, perhaps he would have had a chance. But NCR to keep possession right now. So we are already about we are about three minutes away from halftime. In what has been a thrilling extra time period so far in this match. Velarde denied by Reyes. That ball may have taken a curve as a result of the tricky conditions here. Ditching. Check that that was Dreyfus earlier. The Velarde. for the 105 mark and we'll have that halftime break again in extra time Negros again back in controlling possession but haven't been able to maximize things well, this, it's come to haunt them so far in this match as NCR has managed to draw first blood but that may be enough but will NCR hold on and here's a that chance stitching Circling around. 
has invited some pressure from the Manilenios. And there you have the halftime whistle. NTR managing to hold on and just fasten your seatbelts as we have 15 more minutes of play remaining in the PFF U15 Boys National Championship. The stars of tomorrow. At the end of the first half of extra time, Nicholas Occidental at Mayfield, National Capital Region FA. Second half action, back after a quick break. Nova carrying on where they left, left off in the driver's seat of possession, but unable to crack that NCR defense. Also have to give credit to goalkeeper Alfonso Gonzalez holding the fort. He's been bombarded quite a number of times, but has held his own. And here come the Mendelenios again, Andre Gonzalez. Great job there, threading that through the defense. Umia Bellardi looking for options. Opted to go for the right. He had an overlapping teammate on the left in Rostrata earlier. Here they are. If you're NCR, of course, you'd love to play things patiently. Run the clock and wear off your opponents. But of course, that is easier said than done. Nofa with a chance here. No numbers not in their favor in the towering back line of NCR just getting the stop momentarily. Will this be enough? We have a whistle, but looks like it will be going back. It will be against the Negros Occidental Football Association. John Andre. Andre. Number 9, Christopher Jason Valencia is replaced by number 28, John Andre Roldan. Confirmation there, Valencia will be replaced by John Andre Roldan. So far, it's been the same efforts or Nova. Again, perhaps the creativity could spell the difference for them up front. Andre Gonzalez now in the center, earlier in the wing. Like to invite some pressure as options come forward. He was going for Dominic Thumb. Managed to poke that away momentarily. He almost gets this one to stick. Ball take a couple of bounces, but this one rolling and bouncing off for a free kick. We'll make that a throw in rather. Still a good number of time for, for Nofa to get an equalizer. So, well, at the rate things are going, so much defending for NCR. Ball is cleared. So that was a clearance intended, picked up by the goalkeeper. That appears to be allowed for the loss of the game. As that clearance, of course, was botched. It looks like we will be having a player down with craps over the other side of the pitch. But time is also on the side of NCR, when you take a look at things. 
we will be having the stretcher once again. Have a bit of drama. The referee saying that this down player will need to be stretchered off. So NCR will have to play with a 10 man momentarily in this match. So player will assume in about two minutes have been burned off from the clock. The time continues to tick. Of course, if you're chasing the game as Nofa, that time just goes by like a breeze. Things can take long on the other hand if you are NTRFA and having to defend this one goal lead. And here we come again. Ditching. So poked away. And that down player earlier was number five, Martin Joshua Merino. So it's back to full force again for the Manilenios. And Nofa continues to throw their bodies forward. And the frustrated squad so far have been not been able to find the back of the net in this one despite having a slight advantage earlier and controlling midfield play and the sh well looks like a cross rather so we have a push so that will be a free kick from a dangerous area but with the angle we may see a we may see a service, that will be a cross. Once again, the future of Philippine football here is to be bright with what a show we have had so far between two powerhouse regions in the Philippines. The stars of tomorrow and here it comes. And read well by Gonzalez. That ball by Dreyfus going towards the back post. And Gonzalez here playing this one long. Will one of his field players be able to get this? It Dominic Tom, that well managing to get it. It looks like that ball rolled out. It will be a throw in from the looks of it. Great confidence in their goalkeeper and gave him possession close to the goal. Ball neutralized on the ground. That ball cleared away for safety by Caleb Santos. Diagonal ball cleared. There well. And some pressure from Abelarde. So he's forced to play it square. Abelarde has played all over in the midfield and in the attack. Earlier is playing left and right and in the center. But now is the striker up front in that 4-1-4-1 formation of theirs. And you have to love the versatility here. In the test of death of both squads having to empty their benches going through the match with players tiring out giving their all and this cross met by a, an ncr defender
So NCR banded by the Makati FC, driving his players forward as goalkeeper Alfonso Gonzalez to play this forward. Immediately met by Teruel. This ball coming off for a throw in. Taken down the line. Perhaps NCO would like to keep this at the corner to burn some time. But this comes in favor of the Negrenses. And it is desperation time for them. A little over five minutes remaining for them to at least send this into penalty shootouts to salvage their championship hopes in the inaugural PFF U15 Boys National Championship. Clement, Andre Gonzalez, Omia Belarde. This played out to the right, out wide. This comes out for a goal kick for Villian. Played out quickly once again. And Igrenza switching it up to Dreyfus. Dreyfus been, looks like he's been shifted to the wing. Ditching. Stopped again. Negro Sox Dental has thrown everything but, but to no avail unfortunately. Now they go down the left. Will this give them a spring of hope? Played back. And the early cross. That ball just looping over the player, players of both sides. What chance here for National Capital Region? Just by the insurance goal, but not one of the best kicks right there. NCR now play against the Sun. Perhaps that could be a bit of trouble for them, but that is not the case for Negros Occidental. That ball's going straight to Umi Abelarde. She's swarmed by opposing opposing members of the NOFA. Teruel. Ball ricocheting around. Just sent out for his safety. One of the safest options they went for there. Wave after wave from Nofa. Come and continue. The, the discipline defense of the NCR again. It's tested over and over again. But it all boils down to this. Two minutes remaining. So um, one unwanted contact there, some pushing and tugging. This will be a two-man wall that Nova will have to come up against. Dreyfus and Teruel lining up for this one. So uh, one of the last few rolls of the dice coming in and headed out. The ball still in the danger area. You'd like to keep it in that area if you are Nofa. With some pressure. And just swarmed right there. That was well read by the defense. Abelarde. 
And uh, the through ball forward, Villan having to come off and clear that ball. One as expected by Nofa. Ball almost taken by Andre Gonzalez. Given time has been running out. And CR opted to apply some pressure. Terwell now joining deep into the attacking half. And they are exposed at the back. Ball still in play. Teruel and Tom taking a crack at it. And what a charge from both players. Terwell managing to recover. This could have easily been 2 0 if Tom was on his own. Well, I beg your pardon. It looks like. Looks like that was the number 35. That was Rostrata earlier with that gutsy charge on the left up against Teruel. Ditching, cutting in. They've resorted to all options now. But we have a man down, the captain. But you see how the defense has been spread out so thin as Dominic Tom is down. The referee asking for a stretcher to take the captain off the pitch as the Time continues to tick. Well, we are ready. Past the 120th mark. It should be down to a few more kicks in this match, but ball in the attacking end of Nofa. They still get to take another crack on goal. So it looks like another wall here for Nova to come up against. But this will be against a 10-man NCR. And that was a throw-in taken immediately. It was short. And too much like NCR getting that stop. But the end of the match is up to the discretion of the referee. And there you have the whistle after extra time. There you have it. After extra time, it's 1-0 in the PFF U15 Boys National Championship. And what an effort here by the National Capital Region FA. That stingy defense of theirs managing to get the win. Negros Occidental Epic can hold their heads high in this tournament. They gave it their all. They got out of the group of death in Visayas. These boys just left it all under the pitch. And what a bright future for Philippine football. And my name is Claro Manzano. And thank you very much for joining us to witness the stars of tomorrow. And just we are having our preparation right now for the awarding ceremonies. Celebrations continue right now. Great sportsmanship shown by both sides. Again, Dominic Tom as the hero along with Alfonso Gonzalez picking up countless saves but hats off once again. An effort by both teams. They had to be separated by extra time. This was Claro Manzano on call. And just stay tuned for our awarding ceremonies. Okay.